Hello and welcome to another Whippets.com Whip tutorial, Whip training, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, um, we're going to do some advanced techniques in Vegas here. We're going to start with, if you guys had watched, or ladies and gentlemen, if you had watched an earlier tutorial on adding a uh, opening with titles, you'll remember this. All right, so we're going to actually enhance it with a little extra or some advanced techniques. A um, lot of things you can do in Vegas. It's very versatile. We're going to grab a uh, clip. We're going to grab Rally 3. Take a look at that. All right. Now right here we have an extra video layer. We can actually delete it if we want, or we can go back, right-click anywhere on the timeline, and insert video track. There we have an extra layer of video. Now, we want to take this video and we'll make it a little smaller so you can see it's got audio we don't want the audio so we're going to right click anywhere on the clip or the audio doesn't matter go to group remove from, well let me see if I can move this over so you definitely can see it right click group remove from and if you look now the audio and the video are now no longer attached to each other so let's just highlight the video I'm sorry highlight the audio like so hit delete on your keyboard now all you have is a video no audio so what we're going to do is we're going to put this inside the timeline and we'll just scroll up a little bit make it bigger or you can plus and minus and it doesn't seem to fit so first of all we'll go to our event pan and crop we'll make it 16 by 9 since that's what the original project was done in and you'll see there it is but now it covers over the Whippets graphic. What we want to do is go to the very top here. You see, when you move to the top of your clip, you get a little hand there, a little finger pointer. Good thing it's not the other finger. Um, and it says opacity. What we can do is just left click. You don't see anything there, but if you left click and then drag down, you'll see this white bar, which is the opacity line. Bring that down. Now you see your graphic, your titles, and you still have your music. So we can actually go to the very beginning, and as Biker Boys come up, we can bring this over to the front and right-click in the timeline anywhere and insert an empty event, a little blank box there. Bring it over to the front, and we'll scroll it down a little so that it dissolves on in, in, at about a, a second, which is 20, 26 frames, which is a little less than a second. But And if we hit play... Now that's pretty cool. Let's make this bigger so you can actually see it. And we'll go to best full. And now we'll hit play. We'll go back a little bit. Ah, you know what? Let's let's do a little uh rendering here. We'll just highlight a section there and shift B on the keyboard and it you'll see the scrubber going through and it's basically rendering it so you can see it inside your preview window. Ah, oh, damn. Oop, I mean, shoot. Let's do that again. I clicked on the timeline and it stopped it. So here we go. Come on. Da, 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 da. It's only a 2 gig of RAM in this computer, so it's not that fast. Let's give it a few seconds. And you can actually hit the spacebar anywhere you want, and it'll just stop and play it. So let's do that. Pretty cool. All right, let's put this back in here. Now let's see if we right-click it, and we want to go to Properties. Right-click the clip here. So we want to make it longer, if we can. I'm, I'm used to the um, the full version of Vegas, which has a lot more bells and whistles, but the 79 or the 7495 version is actually great for what it is. And here we go, playback rate. Let's see if we can make it slower. Bring it down to here. Now, if you drag over, you'll see, once you get a little white, there it is. See this little white arrow here, or indent? That means that's the end of your clip. If we go back and right click properties and we change this back to the full version, a full uh, one, well, we'll leave it right there. 
you'll see now you've got a multiple hours because the full length of the clip is from this arrow here to this arrow here. But we'll right click it again, go back to properties, we'll drag this all the way down to 0.25, hit OK. Now you see this is the end of our clip, so it made it longer, so it should go in basically slow motion. We'll hit play. Pretty cool. All right, let's bring it up a bit here so we can see it better. And we'll go to, we'll just go to good this time. Full. And uh, I'll do a little time warp for you. So I'll shift B and then pause and come right back to it when it's done. All right, so it's rendered and let's hit the space bar for play. We'll bring this up a little bit. And now it's in slow motion. It's about 50% fade there, so it's in the background. Pretty cool. All right. Uh, there's other things we can do, actually. So let's just delete this clip. We'll go back to Draft Auto. Bring the preview window down, and we'll bring that. We deleted the clip. Oops. All right. We'll uh, bring in another clip. You see the audio is there, so we're going to have to drag this over so you can see the audio. Right click properties, sorry, right click group mm. I want you to see it there, right click group remove from highlight the audio, hit delete bring this back into your extra video line there and if you put the scrubber over that you'll see again it goes over the top but what we can do is you go over to the far left over here and you go to your track motion if you left click the track motion you get this nice little window and now uh, this is your actual video right here this square and you can resize this by just clicking on any of the edges if you hit the shift key it'll keep it uh, the as aspect ratio together but if you don't it'll well, it'll do funny things but holding the shift key does a lot and we'll bring this down I think I just made it upside down there we come on all right, there we go. Now you can move this anywhere you want. You can slide this around and you can put keyframes. So we can actually move this over out of the screen, mark a keyframe. Well, it's already got its first keyframe. Then we scroll over, wait for Biker Boys to appear, hit another keyframe, and then when you take your, go back to your little video box here, and drag it over, and place it right there if you want. Now you've got two keyframes, a starting keyframe here on the left and an ending keyframe. And if you close it and then go up and hit play, you'll see. All right, that was a little weird. Hmm, all right. Well, it didn't do exactly what I hoped it would, so let's go back into it and see what the problem is. It just appears, oh, do I have my, uh, this could be why, no? Oh, okay. I understand, because the clip, this point right here is the actual timeline. The video doesn't come in until about there, because if you watch, that's where the, if you move this scrubber here, the scrubber on your actual timeline will move. So we go to the beginning of the clip, we'll drag this, keyframe over and we'll start a new keyframe by hitting plus for keyframe and we'll make we'll take this off the screen again so now your keyframe is off the screen so if you drag it and you scrub it you'll see it actually appears and it goes underneath the text because I have it below the text in the timeline but let's uh, we can actually close this and bring this dissolve over so it looks like it dissolves in and we're back into play.